first speaker will be uh, Claudia Perez Faria by Skype. Um, she's a professor at the Universidad Federal de Minas Gerais <coughs> in, um, in Brazil, Belo Horizonte. And she's also a contributor to this quarter's international socialism. She's going to speak for about 20 minutes on the situation in, in Brazil. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, everybody. I would like uh, to thank Camila and Kalinikos for this opportunity. Uh, the, this presentation called Uncontrolled Predatory Capitalism, the core of Bolsonaro's government, is based on an article written by Eduardo Albuquerque and by me for the International Socialist Journal. Here are uh, the facts that shape the roots of Bolsonaro's electoral victory for the Brazilian presidents. The impeachment of President Dilma Rousseff and the growth of the far-right movements in a context of deepened economic, social, and political crisis that form President Dilma could not control. The discourse against corruption that accused politicians of all Brazilian parts who had been in government since 1991, including the poor workers' part president who was jailed by members of the car wash operation in April 2018. Random factors uh, such as Bolsonaro's stab incident that prevent him from participating in the electoral debates. Here, some pictures that illustrate uh, those facts. Uh, Bolsonaro's elections. Bolsonaro, a four-air captain elected by city council in Rio de Janeiro in 1988, has been a member of the Brazilian parliament since 1991. He won both rounds in the presidential election and was elected president on October 2008. 18, with over 55% of the vote. With only 10 months in government, we can see its specific nature, a political arrangement for uncontrolled predatory capitalism. To achieve this, institutional changes are important, and Bolsonaro has put in place regressive policies everywhere, from local to national level. These institutional changes have deepened the process of de-democratization, a concept offered by Charles T. that means an increased isolation of state agents from the demand by organized citizens. Whenever the gap between state government decisions and the representation of civil society widens, both the organization of, social so of society in the function of the state are compromised. The, 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 the democratization process in Brazil will be described in three parts. Brazilian participatory infrastructure, constitutional amendment 95, which depoliticizes the relationship between government and society, rhetoric and other facts in Bolsonaro's government. <laughs> The first one, the first factor to be mentioned is Brazilian participatory infrastructure. Brazil was characterized by a regime in which most citizens did not participate in any form of voluntary association to a democracy with a plural civil society. After the end of the military dictatorship, the new Brazilian constitution provides a major uh, incentive to the formation of a plural participatory society. The 1988 constitution introduced a set of participatory innovations that broke with the monopolist character of representation in Brazil by link social policies the creation of different participatory innovations. These innovations are constitutionally mandatory for various public policies. Over time, 
their use has become routine practice in many other policy areas. For me, this space offers the promise of political inclusion as they enable a more permanent and creative relationship between social and political actors, and they may be related to important social gains captured by the statistics of human developed indices. According to data from the results of this constitutional change was a new participatory structure that can be seen uh, from the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics uh, that, according to them, there are about 36,000 local councils in Brazil. Uh, the most common uh, councils are social assistance, health, rights of children and teenagers, education, environment, uh, housing, rights of elderly people, and culture. By 2016, there were over 800,000 civil society organizations in Brazil. In 2010, um, over 200,000 private organizations, foundations, and associations account for 52% uh, of non-profit entities. Religious, employers, and non-trade unions, advocacy, and social assistance organizations comprise 7% of the IBGE census universe. By region, the total number of entities grew between 2006 and 2008, more than the average of 3.7% of the entire country, showing a nationalization of social participation. Added to this state, social state interface, there has been a series of protests in Brazil in the past uh, decade that show both the vitality and the plurality of the forms of action of civil society. Research on protests over 2011 and 2016 show the vitality and the heterogeneity of actors and demands. Many actors demand better conditions in the public policy mission, but many groups are fighting against policies in support of sex education and primary and secondary school, against sexual and reproductive rights, and against the defense of minority rights. The social sectors involved are students, the homeless, the landless, indigenous people, women, and representative of right-wing groups. Um, the second factor that be, that, uh, uh, that the second factor is to be mentioned is Temer's government. President Temer, after succeeding Dilma, took political and economic measures that impact the already deteriorated relationship between the state and civil society. He reorganized the state and public policy to be closer with business and financial sectors, which had supported Dilma's impeachment. He eliminated most of the special secretariats linked to rights and social protection that were created after 2000, 2003, such as the Ministry of Human Rights, uh, the Minister for agrarian reform, the special secretariat on women rights, the special secretariat for racial equality, and the minister of culture. But one of the worst action that he proposed was the uh, was an austerity measure involving limits to public spend to last ten years. He proposed and approved a, a labor reform, reduced workers' rights, and institutionalizing forms of precarious work. He sent a league measure to the National Congress to, to, to the National Congress, reduce security protection to all Brazilians, include the most basic protection for the poor. 
this legal measure provoked some reaction and failed, but was resumed by Bolsonaro, who now had approved his pension reform. Um, from this process of the democratization that starts with Temer government, we move on to Bolsonaro measures asking us if you are changed from the democratization to authoritarian regime. When in campaign, uh, Bolsonaro declared that he would put an end to all activism in Brazil. When in government, he put his plan in motion. Bolsonaro is make social activists a police matter as precondition for a new political arrangement. Uh, Bolsonaro has expanded military presence in at least 325 federal administrative positions, such as those linked to the vice presidency, uh, Minister of Environment, the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Science and Technology, and others. Provisional Measure 870 reorganized the Executive Chamber, um, uh, where when the Ministry of Environment lost responsibility for deforestation, climate change, and the environment education. The Ministry of Ag uh, Agriculture now dispute with the National Institute of Colonization and Agrarian Reform uh, the responsibility for the demarc demarcation of indigenous lands. This institute had its function function of land expropriation suspended. Decree 9759 released in April 2019 sus sus suspended the operation of almost 9% of the collegiate boards linked to the federal administration. Among them are many public policy councils and conference. Um, the, the Committee of Victims of the Repression, responsible for assessing the crimes of the military dictatorship, had its members deposed and replaced by those nominated by the government, including military personnel. Austerity policies and discrimination towards women Black people and LGBT plus people increased. The effect of these reforms could be seen in various policy areas. Change in reproductive health would affect teenagers. Academic freedom, universal autonomy of teaching and governance and research are all affected with government proposed and budgetary cuts. A new decree to modify the disarmament <laughs> statute on registration, possession, and commercialization of the firearms and ammunition will increase the availability of guns in a country that in a country that has one of the highest incidents of homicide and violent deaths in the world. The possible reduction of tax on, on cigarette manufacturing in Brazil uh, will impact the health condition of Brazilian poor population and will overload the healthcare system. The extinction of the councils linked to the environment ministry is considered one of the explanations for the government delay to contain the disaster that had been happening in the north eastern coast. Mineral resource in, in Amazon region, um, uh, there is a strong lobby for the, this, this map is about the mineral resource in the Amazon region, where there is a strong lobby for the exploitation of this resource. Therefore, there are always renewed pressure for more areas of mine in the uh, Amazon region. These pressures and projects threaten native people who live in the protected areas and units of, cons of conservation. Uh, the overlap of, between the, locali the lo 
location of mina mineral resource and protected areas might be grasped comparing both maps. Bolsonaro's project is to contain the extension on native people protect areas. Here, both maps to, to compare. Uh, reduction on restriction of the environment license for new infrastructure projects and other economic activities, the end of the demarcation of the of new indigenous and protected areas, or even their revocation in order to expand the agri business, leads to intensification of, of damage to Brazil environment system. All measures, uh, all measures take by Bolsonaro. Uh, uh, all measures take by Bolsonaro is reducing access to state in its policies through material, legal, and symbolic resource. Put the count on an unpredictable route that begins with the democratization. This route is important to Bolsonaro economic project. Democracy must be defeated as a prerequisite for unleashing the predatory force active in Brazilian capitalism. Thank you very much. Thank you, Claudia, and um, excellent timekeeping about unfeasing Skype and in English.